in the world of film, Bill oversees all aspects of the project's management, staffing, design, curation, fundraising, and creative direction. Our distinguished guest has also served as the Vice President for Development and Strategic Planning for the Brooklyn Academy of Music, has led capital and comprehensive campaigns for the Southern California Institute of Architecture and the California Institute of the Arts, and has served in senior fundraising and external relations positions in the Sundance Institute, Columbia University School of the Arts, and Rhode Island School of Design, RISD. Bill holds a Master's of Urban Planning and Public Administration degree from New York University and a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from the University of Texas at Austin. Let's all give a warm welcome to our guest and keynote speaker, Mr. Bill Green. Hello, everyone. It is so great to be with you today. Let me fix my cap. To celebrate your commencement with your family and friends, congratulations to all of you for achieving this incredible milestone. I've been told that this is the inaugural College of Fine Arts commencement of the current era. And thank you so much to you all, and especially Dean Usher, for giving me the great honor to speak with you today. I have such great respect and admiration for you all. The arts are so vital to our well-being and to our society. Painting, drawing, printmaking, photography, sculpture, graphic design, media, dance, filmmaking, theater, architecture, music. Your work in all of these disciplines and in multidisciplinary efforts will tell the stories of ourselves and others, build empathy, and bring incredible joy and liberation. Your work will instill values, change opinions, and translate powerful experiences. It will be a vehicle for social change and the record of our history. And it will help people to know and understand things with their minds, but also feel it emotionally and physically. That is what the arts can do, and that is why they and you are so important to the world. It is so impressive to me that all of you have followed your passions by pursuing these degrees. My hope for you is that you have powerful and meaningful practices and careers. I'm so grateful for my current role as president and director of the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles, but my path to a career in the arts was more circuitous. While I grew up in a very loving family, I was raised in a very conservative community in Maryland. Career options and life paths for young men felt preordained and frankly, very limited. No one discussed studying directing or choreography or architecture or painting or design. These practices felt very detached from my reality. They were for others. But I was an end user. I loved movies, gaming, and music. This is back when HBO, Atari, personal computers, and MTV were brand new. I'm very old. <laughs> and they were my portals into new worlds, new stories, and new realities for me. Watching the films of Pedro Almodovar and John Waters introduced me to queer spaces and allowed me to imagine new possibilities. Listening to Blondie, New Order, The Smiths, and Bauhaus spoke to me in exciting new ways that made me feel seen and heard. I wasn't self-aware enough or frankly talented enough to do what you're doing, to study an artistic discipline when I went to college. Instead, I studied finance and statistics at the University of Texas at Austin. Numbers were my strength. But I could not kick the feeling that I needed to be around art and artists to feel like my authentic self. I moved to New York and pursued a master's degree in urban planning. And while the degree was more about analysis and demography than design, again, more numbers, I was inching closer to working in the arts. But the path still seemed unclear. I knew that I wasn't an artist or a designer or a performer, but I started realizing that I could help amplify and magnify their work. Straight out of graduate school, 
I was able to utilize my urban planning degree to start working with architects, engineers, and designers to help secure grant funding for their work on New York City's subway station renovations. And that was my aha moment. I realized that I could help bring art and design to the world using my analytical and management skills to raise needed resources, to bring together interested stakeholder groups, and to secure needed approvals for work. I won't bore you with my entire resume, Nancy, uh, filled you in a little bit, but after several years in that position, I pivoted to the nonprofit arts world to fundraising, producing, and planning positions at Columbia University School of the Arts, Sundance, CalArts, SciArt, RISD, the Brooklyn Academy of Music, and now the Academy Museum. And these positions have given me the incredible honor to work with so many diverse, passionate, and brilliant artists across so many disciplines. These roles and experiences have taught me so much, and I hope some of what I'm sharing right now can be helpful for you. I learned quickly that having a sense of adventure and remaining agile in your career is critical. Things inevitably will not go as planned, so learning how to pivot and try new and aligned projects and paths will keep your work fresh and interesting. I firmly believe there is no predestined path for any of us. And today, much more so than when I was launching my career, bringing a sense of experimentation and fun to your career is seen as a plus. Work hard. I cannot stress to you enough the importance of grit, tenacity, and dedication to your craft. And always iterate and stretch. The artists, performers, and designers who I have worked with who have been the most fulfilled, and I'm thinking of filmmakers like Steve McQueen, Guillermo del Toro, Jane Campion, actors like Tilda Swinton, choreographers like Bill T. Jones, and architects like Renzo Piano, never rest on their past work. They never stop evolving and growing, even when they've achieved incredible success. Also, develop strong relationships with mentors, collaborators, and partners who you trust, and who can bring a multiplicity of voices and perspectives to your work. These fresh views help us uncover new truths and expand the reach and impact of our work. At the Academy Museum, as we were designing our exhibitions and programs, instead of solely relying on the singular voice of one curator or programmer, we engaged a diverse and dynamic group of film artists to help us ensure that we told inclusive and powerful stories about the history of cinema. That allowed us to create a vital institution that not only celebrates the art and artists of movie making, but one that also contextualizes the stories and the history of cinema, both good and bad. It tells the many stories of our past that are rarely told. And this could not have happened without a multiplicity of views and our institution is so much more impactful and meaningful because of that work. And this is something that we don't mention enough. Please don't forget to nurture your personal and family life. It will make you a much better artist and ground you as a human. And don't worry about what others say. Your mission should be to develop new ways to create what is uniquely you always leading with your core values and beliefs. That is how timeless, powerful, sustaining art is created. So make it your own. And whether your goal is to be an architect, graphic designer, dancer, arts administrator, production designer, think about your role in society and how your work will teach, heal, bring enjoyment to others, and above all, connect us. That is the responsibility of all of you, of artists, and that is the adventure that you're about to embark on. We all owe you a great deal of thanks for choosing the innovative and significant paths that you have. You will give us so much and the world will be better for it. I cannot wait to see what you create. And thank you again for inviting me today to join you uh, on this really important moment. Congratulations again to you all. Enjoy and savor this important milestone. Thank you.